Bannon. Bannon is he's on he's a one man Bannon. You know, the, the millennials like to do those little word plays. One man Bannon. So he is now out at the White House, out at Breitbart, out in Trump land, out of Mercer land, out of Big Donor Land. Kelly Ward removed him as one of her interview with Stephen Molyneux. Did Bannon ever do an interview with Alex Jones? Did Bannon ever do an interview with Paul Joseph Watson or Gavin McInnes or Mike Cernovich or with H3H3 or with Dave Rubin or with the Joe Rogan? So I was just kind of thinking, I was like, you know, he had all this time to work for Joshua Green on Devil's Bargain. He had all this time to, to work with with um, Michael Wolf um, on this book. But he never really seemed to have time to work with alternative media people. He could have given them views when he was hot. When, when Bannon was hot, he could have given millions of views to... Molyneux or to Alex Jones or to, to any number of people. But he never really did that. He, he gave all his views to the, the mainstream media, the opposition media. And that always really, that always really struck me as kind of weird, right? That when you're uh, the hot thing, the it thing, why don't you, you know, go on the Rubin Report? Why don't you go on the Joe Rogan podcast? Why don't you go on Alex Jones? Why don't you go onto an alternative platform? Why spend all this time working with the opposition media on their books without boosting the profiles of other people, right? That, that was his mistake. He could have done both. I do both. I talk to the opposition media, not much anymore because I did my cool guy thing. You know, I got the, the highlight reel, but I'll talk to the mainstream media, but I talk to alternative media more than I talk to to anybody else, right? I do 90% of my time is spent with alternative media, and 10% of my time was spent with He had his own fan base. And his fan base was entirely media circuit, media circuit where he could have built his own fan base. He could have a million... Twitter followers, right? Bannon could have a million Twitter followers. Bannon could have a huge pot. Bannon could have built all these media things. They never did that. And that is a, um, that is a common, common mistake. Bannon does not drink, guys. So what does Bannon need to do? Hire Katie McHugh. Start over. Start a podcast. So his brand is cooled down considerably, but he's down but not out. What can he do now? He needs to just start his own podcast, do the one man Bannon. One man, call himself One Man Bannon. The logos of that look cool. That's where he's at. He's learning now that you can give the alter you can give um, mainstream media all this attention, but when you're not the cool thing, the hot kid anymore, you're out. So he should have talked to alternative media more. He should have talked to new media more. Hopefully he does the new media um, circuit. That's really what he has to do for now. Thanks for watching. Mike Cernovich, Cernovich.com.